Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Brave Prince of Masashi. Okay, so two eyes down, two more to go. Both of them are right in front of Manic. Which one do I want to do? This one, or this one? I'll go with this one. Uh, if I'm lucky, I'll probably get both in the same episode, but we'll, we'll see what happens, because my tiredness is already at 50%, so this one might be pretty obnoxious. Oh crap, this room. Uh, this one's gonna be fun. Alright, so how this works is... Basically... A lot of teleporting. For this first part. We need to get up here. We're gonna go this way first. And I'm gonna smack away at Vambies at the process. See if I can at least get, uh... Lumina or even a body level up. I'll just whack away at you. I'm not going to be wasting a whole lot of time due to the tiredness. So we'll go down this way. Roll on. Watch the fire here. Doorway here leads to this section, which there is some poles to climb, which we'll just get all the way up top. Get past all three. Inside this room, is a bench up here. Easy stuff. That's pretty lame. I could probably come up with something better than that. Then again, this is a game that was rated E in 98. So, I mean, what else could you do, I guess? <clears throat> Alright, so anyway. Alright, I see the pole, but I don't know how much space I have before the spikes. Okay, there we go. Yeah, mainly it's just, uh, get yourself in the right position. And make sure you have enough light to deal with stuff. After that, it's just a backtrack back, and now we gotta go through the western section. The western section is actually the correct path. I'm just gonna blast it, Vampies. Hit the switch. Guess I can crush you into a corner, this will probably work out. Don't oh, shoot. Get off. Stay in your corner. Alright, works for me. Damn it. Positioned myself in the wrong position for that. And there's a the body level off. Sweet. Now we'll head in for the western section, which... This part's exactly the same as the eastern. This is not them. Couple spots have spikes, so get up here. Ouch. Gotta run around a circle here, dodge the Vambi, in this case. Up here, there's some spikes around somewhere. I'm just gonna wait, because I don't know. Alright. There's a mine level up as well. Awesome. Oh, um... Shoot him at 67. This is actually a great spot to actually drop the tiredness, so I'll do so for a little bit. Alright, so it's three and... I'll put myself up about seven. Alright, so now we're under 50. Anyway, the right one's what you want. If you take the left one, you're going all the way back to the start. So don't do it. You'll end up here on one of the sections. Walk right in. And now we have this area where we basically need to climb up. And get away from the bats, they'll be blasting away. There's the door. 
and quite a few slimes. But you want this one. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one's it. Because the Vambi is right there. Now I am going to clap you. Thanks for the 50 HP. Alright, this is basic symmetry. Just climb up, and there's the doorway. And more slimes. Joy. Pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, this is it, because this is actually the, um, this is the center doorway that I skipped earlier. It ends up putting you, uh, under the wall there. And with that, we clear the first area of this dungeon. We enter literal hellfire. Go through the fire, and yeah, I'm taking damage. Wait, I have defend, duh. Oh, cool. Literal burning bambies. Yeah, you will take some damage against these guys. So don't let them get too close if you really want to fight. Or if you have a decent ability like gunshot or something that might work out against these guys. I am going to try to hit them. Okay, nope, that's not going to work. Into area three. Wait a minute, I think I can actually assimilate one of these guys. Just wait a minute. Alright, screw it, I'm not going to waste my time. All right, jump. And there's a box right there. Okay, this is getting slow. All right, what's in the box? Side here is powder. All right, cool. Definitely grabbing that. And a hundred. Jump. Get through the door. And that's Area 3, and the end of the dungeon. So the only one left now is the one that I'm most familiar with, which is the bowling one. And the reason I know that is because, well, it is 14 o'clock. Yeah, I think I'm gonna step out. Get the tiredness down to zero before I do that. How much time's on? Okay, it's not been that long, so I can probably do this dungeon. Yeah, this dungeon I'm actually familiar with because I've mentioned a couple times of the uh, interactive demo CD. This upcoming dungeon was the third and final section in that demo, which uh, I definitely enjoyed. And played a little bit. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Appraisal of a bunch of garbage. Let's take a look at everything. The powder smells odd. It's soap. <laughs> Typical. Well, pipe is a flute, which is broken. Well, that's fantastic. Bedpan. Really? What the fuck? And then we have this rock, which is a crystal. Not as valuable as a jewel. It's actually not bad on Dran count. 2,500, 70, 10, and 180. Not too shabby, really. But, um, anyway, as I was saying, well, maybe I'll talk a little more once I, uh, put down the nap. Welcome. 
Make yourself at home. That works out. Yeah, three hours for a full nuke is fine. All right, six o'clock. Uh, I, I got a couple hours. I can head into the forest and fight a little bit. Now I can actually talk about that demo disc. I actually played that a little less than the log collecting section, mainly because I wanted to see the time flow, because you're in the dungeon the whole time. Um when it comes to that third section. So you don't really see any real time flow other than what's on the clock. So, despite that, it was still a fun section, and I do enjoy it. So I am still probably going to enjoy this one as well. So I'll definitely, out of all four dungeons, this is the one I definitely know by heart. Because of how often I played the section. Granted, I may still screw up here and there, but that's... That's everything. Um, cause I, I will admit, I've been playing pretty sloppily on all four dungeons. The first two were especially crude. Jeez. Of course, I also want to see if I can get Lumina up a level. If I can. Actually, I should be training fusion more, because I am going to be using them against Bambies anyway. Up close. Okay, I am getting close to 14. That's at 13. It's not right. So maybe I will actually try to get this thing up to snuff. Right now, I'm just waiting for about 23. Night in the forest. Works out. Kinda. Well, despite the fact that it's nothing but Dran's dropping. Alright, that helps. Alright, 23. One, one more attack. Now, if this section doesn't get me level 14 on Lumina, I don't know what will. Not gonna lie. Alright. Now, I just got to begin day 18. There's a Vambi. Get back in the dungeon. Let's get this over with. Maybe I missed something. Check it out! Back in the dungeon we go! Isn't it weird that a restaurant has literal labyrinth-like ruins? Very weird. But it is what it is. Alright, on to the final dungeon of the four. The bowling dungeon. This gonna be fun! And I know it. I know it's gonna be fun. Let's go. And of course we have all these slimes, which cause the poison and stuff. So we have all these uh antidote orbs. Okay, these guys are what you assimilate to trigger the um, the bowling. So what I need to do here is actually, like, get right here. There we go. I wasn't sure I was gonna hit it if I was under it. But there's bowl. Press the circle button for an indicator. Press it again to do some bowling and crack break walls. Break- <laughs> I flipped that badly. Break cracked walls. And I have to remain still until it disappears. Ten bench up points of use. Gonna be fun, though. Of 
course, you get rammed hard if you get hit by these guys. They have quite a bit of health. Alright, works out. So we'll roll on here. Oh, shoot! Alright, so obviously you see a cracked wall here. So hit circle. Get around the center and blast that open. Inside here is a treasure chest. This one's got a shield. Cool stuff. Oh, hey! Too bad you can't hit behind you. And I just saw Lumina hit level 14. That's a jack bullet ball. And I got crushed by that. Goody. Alright, I think I can start using Fusion a little more. around this thin part, and that's the end of the first area of the dungeon. Enter area two, we got burning bambies again. Get scorched. Oh, defend. That did not work the way I hoped. I guess I gotta get a little closer. Yeah, this was actually something I should have done uh, earlier on with another one of the dungeons. Alright, works out. Into the next room with another one of these guys. Now, it looks like there's nothing here. There is a cracked wall right to the right. Circle. And there we go. And now we get this fun part, where you're literally going bowling, and of course that... That's literal wood on lava. What the hell? Anyway, we're bowling bambies. Well, that was ass. Ah, the dreaded 710. The one where you hate everything. Alright, at least got you. Oh, that's way too far. And that was straightforward. Alright, hang on. That should work. No, still too early. Got it. Once they're down, somehow the wood miraculously pulls. You can head straight forward. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, right, bench up field. And this is Mercenary Podrost. Yeah, the, uh, the eye that lifts is actually the correct path. That's cool. 285 points. Cool stuff. There's also another cracked wall right here. So circle. Blast it away. Let's see what's inside. Another treasure chest. This one's got an odd hat. Eh, neat. Yeah, and it looks like it's nothing until you realize this actually takes you to the next area. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I, I forgot how that works. Um, wait. No, that's not what you do. Yeah, when you're staring at this thing, it just causes a huge flamethrower. So what we need to do is actually send this back to normal. Stay behind, or one, 
get close enough to it, try it. That's the only way to deal with this. Alright, let's head right. Oh, shoot, 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 run! And that ends the second phase. You guys can't destroy me for anything. Pretty sure it's it. Nope. Right here is the wall. Head inside. And we got ourselves yet another bowling. Brown to deal with. Bring it on! Oh wow, 21 minutes. I just now noticed. Well, I can go a little longer. <laughs> Strike! And I got bonus experience out of that and a mind level up. Sick. Absolutely sick that happened. Anyway, there's another wall to break. So go right in. And oh my god. God, I'm not hitting that thing just yet. Obviously, there's a ton of ambies to deal with. Well, that worked. Kinda. Actually, wait. Can I just use bowl and crush him? Nah, that didn't do shit. Gets rid of them. Body level up. I'm getting run over by freaking Bambies. There we go, finally. Eat a dick. Now I can deal with the bench up here. This one is Mercenary Stew. What's that? Alright, so get back on the I platform again. It'll go up. And that is the end of the dungeon, I think. Right? Yeah, I don't see any other special walls. I'm pretty sure the demo ended after the uh, walls collapsed, so I didn't actually see the full thing. But that's the fourth and final one, and we are now past 23 minutes. Definitely a little longer than expected, but that's alright. All four dungeons complete, makes a nice little uh, position to uh, deal with stuff next episode. Actually, I am at 61%, and it is 18.30. I know how to handle next episode. So, uh, we'll figure out what's behind... Uh, the eye doors next episode. So I'm going to cut this here. Thank you for watching. See you next time.